Hi and welcome to the Apple videos. In this video I wanted to talk about the iOS operating system on your phone and also a bit about apps and how the two of them really work together. You may or may not have heard of those two terms but the more you use your phone the more those terms are going to pop up especially if you're reading literature or you will see those words through various messages on your phone. So if we start at the iOS you may have already seen different references to the iOS. So you may have heard of iOS 6, 7 and the latest iteration is iOS 8. That comes installed on your iPhone 6. The iOS is the main software on the phone. It's the software that boots up when you turn your phone on. So without the iOS your phone is just a piece of hardware. When the iOS is installed onto your phone it now has an operating system and you can start that operating system and make calls with it. Then within that operating system you have all of these things here their apps. Now the iOS can be updated independently of the apps and the apps can be updated independently of the iOS. And you may notice when you try and install certain apps you will get an error message like this telling you that the iOS needs to be updated before the app can be installed. So you don't really have any options but to update the iOS otherwise you cannot install the app. However in some cases you might get an error message like this telling you that your iOS is out of date However, you can install an older app that's compatible with the version of the iOS that you have. So in some cases you'll be forced to update and in some cases you can work around it. So essentially the iOS is the foundation and certain apps will connect and plug into features or are just written in such a way that they may need the latest version of the operating system or the iOS to function correctly. So whilst updating the iOS isn't mandatory, you will inevitably run into problems if you are installing and using lots of apps. So it does pay to keep the iOS updated. However, it's always wise not to be one of the first to do it because if there are any bugs, Apple will tend to fix them and send out another update. So I tend to not rush when it comes to updating my iOS. To check what version of the iOS operating system you have, you just go into settings, scroll down to general, then if you go to about and then you will see version and currently I've got 8.0.2 which is the latest version. So you can always check that if you like before you go doing any updates. So what about apps? Apps are things that you can get from the App Store and you'll see the App Store here. So if we go in here you can install all sorts of apps. So apps can be games, they can be programs that do things, they can store data and sometimes they can be really simple and just allow you to access a website. So instead of going through the web browser you can use an app and get better functionality of a particular website. But don't worry too much about everything at the moment. All I wanted to do is just touch on the two topics and give you an understanding of what the iOS is and how apps are installed into the iOS. That way as we go along and we talk about these two different topics, you won't feel too confused by them.